Yeah. Hey, welcome to Stranger Brews. I am Joderson. And I'm Riri. We experiment with strange brews. That we do. What determines a stranger brew, Riri? Well, it could be the name of the beer. It could be the ingredients of the beer. It could be just how the can looks. I mean, there really is no limit to what a strange brew can mean to us. And this is your first episode. Welcome. Yes. But head back and, and watch our other ones. Hey, and give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Yep. Oh. And uh, ring the little bell. And then you'll get all the notifications when we post something new. So there's no so more. So we of had those? the stronger ones at the beginning. So oh, okay. maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Get us a little saucy, have a little fun, let our guard down. Um, <laughs> let's see. Stop! Oh. Or just grab one? Uh, I am touching <laughs> literally every single one of them. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Stop! Okay. Woo, I'm so good. Uh, I like this one. This one's cool. Uh, All right. We have our uh, cross strain, another one. Tan limes. So mm. this is very much like your salt lime beers that you find. It's less salty though. It's very limey. It really is. This mm -hmm. is another very good cool beer. Awesomeness. I thought. I think so. Yeah. But I also like. I love like lime drinks. I do too. So. Um, yeah, you need to try a Ray Re someday. Yeah, I do make a, a killer cocktail called a Ray Re. And and it uh, has to have lime in it. First time she served it to us, she goes, oops, I forgot to put the lime in this. I did forget this. to put the lime in it. And it was still tasty, but... But as soon as I put the lime But the lime, lime in, balanced it, it out. It really made mm -hmm. a difference. I know we're, this is beer. A Ray Re is a cocktail. It doesn't <laughs> involve beer. Now... We will be putting all of these beers in our untapped app. Right now, we just have our personal ones. I don't think we've... I haven't done anything with mine, but we, yeah. I don't think we should uh, change it and make a, a general one. I think we should just have our own ones anyway. And we can uh, start putting those on. Well, that requires me to do some more. <laughs> you know what? We could do it while we... I do think that's actually the best thing we oh, should do. Oh, have the app. Have well, my open. phone is is oh. being used as a camera. <laughs> There's that. There is that. Now, the limes are going to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see them. So we'll <laughs> but have they're to get there. a picture of this There's one. There's limes. All uh, right. This is, a good, this is a good summer pool beer. I will so say it's that. probably a gulper. Yeah, we'll be done with this one pretty quick. Yeah. I'm telling you all of the stronger ones we've already well, let's had. Let's see if I can so. smell the lime. Yes, I can definitely smell the lime. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait. Wow, I mean, it's like opening up a, a real lime squeezy bottle and sniffing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait for you to take a taste. All right. Take a taste. Okay. I wanna see what you think. Oh, yeah. That is really good. I mean, that's the most limey lime lime drink I've right had. so it's like it's like the salt and lime in the sense of the lime but there's no saltiness to it like yeah. the salt and lime so it is very much like you took a lighter beer and just squeezed much lime in it yeah but you didn't dilute it with the lime juice no you get all the benefits all the benefits <laughs> and i'm reaping all the benefits <laughs> What movie? <laughs> what movie? Well, we know. We do know. It's a it's a fave. Yeah. If you haven't watched The Wedding Singer, you failed. Yeah. You failed in life. Yeah. You better go watch it now. Well, Redeem not yourself. after you're done watching it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you're done with this, <laughs> go watch The Wedding Singer to redeem yourself. If you haven't seen The Big Lebowski, you must do that as well. 
Oh, you know what I saw today? What did you see today? Oh. Who's joining the uh, Stranger Things cast for season five? Mm. Who's Sarah that? Connors. Like Linda Hamilton. Is she? Yeah. I was like the original. <laughs> <laughs> because so Not and the, the reason Sarah I asked, Connor but Cameron and I, no. re, we watched that the Sarah <laughs> uh -huh. Connor Chronicles. Man, that was a good well, no, series. I never did see it. I, is it still available? Yeah, I'm sure you can find it. Uh, it just it's sad because it happened during the writer strike, so um. they had to. They did their best to wrap it up and <laughs> the, the last writer strike, not the one that's going oh, on yeah, right now. Oh yeah, not the now. current one. <laughs> That yeah, one, that back one. back in the day, um, the same thing. It was around the same thing. I think Dollhouse suffered that too. Was that Eliza Dushku? Was she in that? Mm -hmm. And and um, Alan Tudyk was in it. Alan mm. Tudyk. He actually, I did not. I mean, I liked him in it because I like him, but it was definitely different because he did not play a funny character from A Knight's Tale. <laughs> The redhead, the oh, funny guy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So every, okay. he and he was in um, Firefly, and mm. funny character, like just witty, funny character. Like he's everything else I've seen him in was more of that like witty, funny mm. guy. And this one, he was a serious guy, and I didn't like it. It's like some of the the best comedic actors play the best villains. They do, and they, when they play those dark roles, it's like I'm so confused right now because yeah. I don't... Robin Williams? Oh, and, and, and John uh, Lithgow. Is, oh, he's another one. Yeah. John Travolta's not really a comedic, but no, he plays but he usually plays the good guy, villain. and then when he plays the bad guy, you're like, I'm yeah. so confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand it. Was it The Photographer, I think, is what the movie was? Or Robin Williams was He played the, a bad guy? Yeah. I didn't see that. Oh my gosh. I, I was like, I, I, it was a good movie, and I was like, I can't ever again. I can't. Yeah. Mm -mm. But he played a, he, he, he played a crazy psycho guy, but he was, he worked as like a film developer. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> I was not, hmm. not a fan of him being a bad guy. It's tough to see your heroes play bad guys, but. The one that gets me the most though is still John Lithgow. In when you watch him and you watch him in, you know, Third Rock from the Sun, and he's just one of the Harry funniest the guys. <laughs> yeah, Harry and the Andersons, all those. He's such. A, yeah, and then you see him in De Dexter. Is that one? <laughs> yeah, Dexter, Dexter and, just... and then the other one was Cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. But oh, just dirty, rotten, terrible. He's such a good actor. Yeah. That's the problem. Like I hate yeah. that these these really <laughs> funny. Actors do get pigeonholed into those roles because yeah. that's a, they, that's what they're really good at, and they are really good at it. And then they take on these other roles, which they're really good at too, but your mind's almost set up as yeah. like who that person is, and so they're kind of pigeonholed into those comedic yeah. roles, and it's hard well, to take them seriously One sometimes. of the best movies that kind of shows two actors ability to play a good and bad guy in the same movie mm -hmm. is face off oh nicolas cage <laughs> nicolas cage yeah and well and john and travolta. john travolta i mean they both, both play such good guys but then when they switch to the bad guy roles they play such they good do. that's yeah you know. no that that <laughs> <laughs> that movie is definitely confusing. Like, yeah. I mean, not the concept of the movie, but you're just like, I don't even know what's going on right now. I see you have the bad guy's face and you have the good guy's face, but you're both good guys and both bad guys. And I don't understand what's going on right now. <laughs> no, that one is one that, of those. That's good filmmaking. Like, that is. That is. They don't, they don't make movies like they used to. I mean, going back to, uh, you know, the whole kind of, theme here that we got our idea from. I think that's one of the more new series that has taken on its own thing, but like yeah. emulates like that time period. Mm -hmm. like when movies were really when good. When they were really good, you know, they did a really good, I don't know, at Stranger Things, like the way that they took the concept of that time frame and yeah. you feel like you actually are watching kind of an 80s show. You really yeah. do. 
but then you're like, oh yeah, no, that's not what it is because the quality is ten no, times better. Fun. It's fun <laughs> to see the younger generation embrace the '80s, you know, because of that show. Oh yeah, and the music. I mean, my child is obsessed. <laughs> We're wow, and we music. have two more beers to We're go. going from movies to music to... <laughs> Most people don't care about our banter. But they love our t-shirts. They love our t-shirts. Guess we're... what? We will be selling these eventually. Yes. So we are getting our, our merchandise done through T-Rex Apparel. They're only the best. They really are. When only the best will do. And just oh, wait till we do some etching yeah. on these. I mean, that's us, by the way, if you didn't know. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a, a character that we oh, play. <laughs> that's a character we play. <laughs> <laughs> We're the real people. We're the real people. The characters that we play are also uh, apparel. And <laughs> guys, we got our hands in a lot of cookie jars right now. <laughs> We're going to find balance, though, and yeah. it's going to be fine. But it's okay, because I'm retired. Yeah, he can do it all. I mean, I, I can't do it. I don't work. I coach. We can drink nope. beer. My character coaches. Oh, yeah, your, your character, character coaches. coaches. Yeah. So I guess it's my character that's retired. <laughs> <laughs> this is my real job. As Mine, Joe too. Derson. As Joderson has one job, <laughs> and it's to drink only. beer. <laughs> it's to drink beer and entertain you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She's winning on the, um, I on the pound know, in it. <laughs> I just know that we have two more beers to get through, and my character has to be a mom later. <laughs> you have some dishes to do. Uh, my character's children have dishes to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's only two more. Two so more. I'm going to just kind of like, mm. I don't know. Here, you tell me uh, left or right. Actually, left. Okay, good. No, that, I nope. did my head right. <laughs> nope, and no, I no, said it's good because I felt okay. it and I was like, actually, oh. let's, because uh, you'll see why. Okay. Okay, so we have another uh, from Cross Strain from La Vista. Uh, Nebraska. Um, this is their hot as hellas. So they have just their their I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the regular. <laughs> okay. So they have okay. their regular hellas, which I've had before. Um, and it was so whenever Cameron and I would buy beers from Cross Train, we would we would <laughs> words are hard. <laughs> We would usually We buy... were going to do 10. <laughs> That's going to be a fun episode. You wait for that. <laughs> um, maybe it's because I'm pounding them and that's like, <laughs> like i got to drink. i got to get through this. We need to make a Sharknado board. To Next time, in. yes, we need to do something. If we're going to have this many beers yet, we definitely need to do something like that. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we would usually buy the Fairy Nectar and we would buy the Hellas. Um... But then they decided to put a spin on their Hellas and do the hot, hot as Hellas. I like that. Mm -hmm. That that's very creative. Is it, do you say Hellas? Is that how you? Would, I mean, that's how we always said it. Or is it? I mean, I would say. I mean, if they're gonna put hot as in front of something, I, I would just say it's it Hellas. Like hells or Hellas, but it's wow. Hell. <laughs> but I think it's Hellas, though. Hellas. I do think it's pronounced Hellas. If we're wrong, we're drunk. We'll Lager with jalapenos and habanero chili peppers. And yes, I, I know how to pronounce jalapenos. Uh, 4.8, so it's... Okay, so it's, it's basic. Yeah. Um, I have had this, like, uh, I've taken a drink of somebody who's had it, so I know what it tastes like. It's not going to be a, a surprise uh, for me, but it'll be a surprise. It sure will. For you. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually really excited that we're ending with the other one. I, that's why I was like, wait, don't, because I felt the label, and I was like, we should do that one last. You could tell by filling the label. Mm -hmm. That's how experienced I am. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me an alcoholic or... <laughs> the label whisperer. <laughs> Ray Ray, the label whisperer. 
All right. All right. Sniff. I can smell jalapenos again. Not I, as strong as the other one. No, but you can smell the spiciness of this one. And yeah. I'm telling you. You, you, you think this is going to be spicy? It's hot it is, as hellas. It is hot as hellas. It's not going to be spicy to where you're like, oh, I can't drink it. It's, it's you're a little. You're going to feel the burn. You're going to feel the burn. It's got a little cloudiness to it. Slight cloudiness. Yeah, it's not <laughs> as clear as the other Slight one. Slight cloudiness. One. I'm not drunk, people. I can't talk. <laughs> Camera's right there. Oh. Not over there. Words are hard. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> Knowing your audience is hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right well, here we, here we go. All right. I love this one mm. so much. It definitely has more of the. I mean, it's not a terrible burn, no, but you, you can. It's it. on your tongue. The other one it's burned in my throat. throat. This, this one's one, in the throat too. You don't feel. I it feel it. No, I feel it in my throat, but I felt it on my tongue too. Yeah. Swizzle it on your tongue. <laughs> You'll feel the burn. Mm. I honestly like, it's like not down here. I mean, you feel it all here, all the way down too, but it's like this like back part, like as it hits the back of your throat, that's like the burn. Oh, the back of the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Name that movie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. Was that Spaceballs? No. What's that one? Just a flesh wound. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a whole trail. Mm. <laughs> you would think, based on my childhood, I'd be able to quote that whole damn movie. <laughs> Seriously. Between mm. you and Jay and <laughs> all the family. Yeah. Um, I think that's why I had a distaste for that movie for so long. Now, you had a I, distaste? Oh, yeah. When I was younger, I was like, this is the oh, stupidest so stupid. shit I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And, like, I just, yeah, I was, I, didn't, I was not a fan for a very long time. It wasn't until I got older. It's just like, an armless bunny. <laughs> it wasn't until I got older. <laughs> And I started to watch it, and I could appreciate it for the humor at that point. But, like, for a long time when I was younger, I just was like... See, and I, I saw it when it originally came out in the theaters. You're old. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that belch came back. Yeah, burning, burning, huh? It There's was a burn. good. A hunk, a, hunk a, burn. Of a hunk of burning belch. A hunk of burning belch. Is this going to turn into like a beer and movie review? Good. Beer and movie and music <laughs> review? I feel like that's all we talk about. Beer I mean, and movies You can only say so much about the beer. You know, you got to. Well, here's the thing, you know, with adult beverages is they do create more um, dialogue on strange things. Am I feeling philosophical? <laughs> Falafel. <laughs> a falafel. He's feeling falafel right now. <laughs> Not as falafel as I was last night. I felt pretty falafel yesterday. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I was dehydrated. I drank too much beer and not, not enough, enough water. water. That's the that's the trick here. I feel like you the dry heat, you know you have to drink water, right? Like you feel it. You feel your body start to dehydrate. Yes. Like you feel it. I can tell you the amount of mm -hmm. times I've come home to Arizona and in the plane, like as soon as we're starting to land, ah, I feel I my body water, yeah. like, you need water, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas like here, I don't feel the urge for the water like I do because, because it's so humid. Yeah, you're, you're, you're sopping wet. And so I'm thirsty, oh, but it's not sweet. like, oh my gosh, I'm dehydrated. So I don't feel the need to drink the water. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I was in the freaking swimming pool right. all day yesterday. And it's that and humidity, it's, it tricks you because actually the humidity also makes it like it drop. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to talk scientifically and I'm not a scientist. Well, or I, I know those things, you do like, sweat more here you than you did here. in Arizona. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, so your body does 
still need all mm -hmm. of that hydration, you're actually sweating it out. Whereas in Arizona, you do sweat, but like if you go under a tree in Arizona, mm -hmm. you're fine. You go in a tree, underneath a tree here, like for yeah, shade, yeah, yeah, it doesn't there's... change much. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't change much at you, you, all. You just don't only, have that sun beating down. Yeah, the only escape is to go inside into air conditioning. Really, it is. It is. I, when I'm drinking alcohol, I do try and make sure that I have a glass of water. Oh, generally in between each, but yesterday I didn't do that. But like most of the time I do try and make sure that I go like drink water, drink water, drink water. Alcohol dehydrates you so fast that you actually cannot keep up with that dehydration. Even if you have water mm -hmm. in between to try and bring it back, your body is already past that point to where you can't do a one-to-one -one ratio. And it actually does take a while for your body to get rehydrated. Yeah, it did. So. Lesson learned. <clears throat> Again, I would do, I would like to try this as a bloody beer. Yeah. Any of these with the, the jalapenos Jalapeno in them. Jalapeno in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do think that be. this one, uh, I would think this one personally would be better than the pineapple one. For Probably, that. yeah. The pineapple it's... jalapeno is good too. I feel like this one has the burn you're looking for when it comes to a Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. And so when you do a Bloody Beer, you oh. don't generally have that heat element like you do with a Bloody Mary. You know where the other one would be good? With the pineapple? Because you know how they do those um, margaritas where they put the little bottle oh, of like Corona? Oh, like the Corona Rita? Corona, mm -hmm. Yeah. That would put be good. In. That would be really good. I thought you were going to go with the Caribbean piss. Yeah, I'd probably try it. <laughs> <laughs> what would you not try? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, but I do really like this one. I like the... Little burn. Mm-hmm. So if you're watching in a d different part of uh, the world, or the country, <clears throat> oh, please give us suggestions of beers you'd like us to try from, yeah. from your area, see if we can find them here. For sure. Because we've done lots of lots of Texas beers, we and have. now this is our Nebraska. That's why we decided to skip the Texas beers we have right now and try the Nebraska ones, because all we've really done is... Yeah, Texas. there we're are a lot of Texas beers because it's. I mean, it's Texas. It's huge. Freaking huge! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to find here. Um, but I would like to try beers from other areas, and so. Yeah, if you have a suggestion, please send please it our send way it our in way. the comments. And we'll try and see if we can find it at one of our one of our many liquor stores <laughs> now. <laughs> There's yeah, four the, now. There's four. I haven't been to the other two. Um, Being from, from Arizona, you know, we could walk into a Walmart and oh buy God. all kinds of liquor and whatever we want. Anything. You can buy but, it all. So here, they used to have one liquor store we could go to that was in our area. Uh, but they changed the law. Like, the law. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the claw from Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> they changed the law. The claw. The claw. So, uh. anyway, the law changed. <laughs> <laughs> and we could actually have liquor stores. And so, as soon as that happened, they were popping up. Popping up. And you finished once again. She's she's winning this, uh, this usually drinking he, contest. Usually he drinks them faster than I do, but... Oh, have I been talking more? <laughs> maybe, or maybe I'm just gulping more. I don't know. Why do I? Oh, it is. I'm a little slow right now. <laughs> it's fine. I was like, why do I have more glasses over here than you do? Because you had one still in your hand. <coughs> oh. All right. <coughs> I got the pepper on that one. Yeah, it's good. At the very end. That was good. I, mm -hmm. I liked it. Okay, so the only I'm reason sorry. why I, I was saying this should be the last one. It's not because it's like, oh, we, like, ooh, it's so good. I don't know, because this is the one I haven't had. But ah. it is a raspberry heft, so it's more of a dessert type. Oh, it's a there we go. dessert one. And so I was like, you know what? You always end with dessert. Well, you don't always have to end with dessert. Desserts It worked really out anytime. that way today. But today, yeah, so I felt the labels. Here, 
I will show I see you. because it's a continuous. Well, this one has it too. Like you, could, but this one's thicker. Like these ones are thicker than these. Well, I can one. feel that seam on there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I guess I can feel them on the both. Yeah. What is that? This one know. is very slick. So I just I knew because I'd pulled out enough of these ones to know mm -hmm. that that was a different label. So anyway, so oh. we have another one for Brickway. Um, this is a Raspberry Hef wheat beer. Um, Hef of Eisen. Hef of Eisen. And I will tell you once I can find it, because this is different. Oh, that's fun. So one of their little things on their label. See, this one does have some fun stuff on the label. Oh, good. Uh, it says ra Raspberry Hef of Eisen, and then it, underneath it, uh, it says, celebrate, commiserate, and commemorate. Oh. It's kind of fun. Okay, there it is. Um, it is a 5%. So it's a little bit more than yeah, the last ones that we've more, had. A little bit more, but it's because it's got a little too... more sugar in it. Yeah, then. yeah. So uh, I will say, for me, beers. I was never like, oh my gosh, I love beers. Um, but I went to my first beer fest in Monterey, California, and had wheat berry, like a wheat berry, and I was forever changed. I love a good wheat berry, but I have <laughs> not had this one. Well, then this will be a first for both of us. Yeah, I'm excited. I love berry wheat. Uh, I've said it before on this one, the Sea Dog uh, blueberry wheat was one of my favorites, but uh, you can't find it anywhere around here. It's, it used to be bigger. It really was. And then I think maybe COVID. Because we're going to blame everything on COVID. Yeah, we need to. Uh, <laughs> I think COVID happened and then they, they got smaller because maybe they just couldn't keep their production anymore because of all the stuff. So now they're more yeah. localized to where they're... I think they're from Maine. I love a good berry wheat beer. Ooh, it's got a pretty color. It does have it. a pretty color. That's like honestly, a... this kind of reminds me of. And I know we talked about grapefruit earlier, but mm -hmm. this actually really reminds me of grape. Like, if you were to do a grapefruit like vodka drink, this is exactly what it would look like. You know, kind of what it looks like to me, color wise. Bahama Mama. Bahama Mama. Bahama Mama. That reminds me of a Bahama Mama. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, unfiltered looks like too. There's like no clearness to it at all. So I can't smell anything. I don't, I don't <laughs> smell and well, get a little hint of beaver butt. <laughs> <laughs> I've smelled beaver butt before. <laughs> I've smelled beaver butt before. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Well, cheers. Cheers. There's a lot happening there. Yeah, so it's weird because it's a little sour, isn't it? It is a little sour. Like a sour beer, not like sour, like yeah, but not, bad. But not, not like, like a, bad, a true like sour a, beer, but no. it's like borderline. But I get the raspberry too mm -hmm. there. I don't know. Wow, there's a lot happening. Yeah. There. Maybe we should have cleared our palates after the spiciness. <laughs> I'm tasting a hot dog at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like <laughs> shrimp dogs and pizza. Because <laughs> we're having a party and you can't come. <laughs> From trailer float. Flaming car. Can you get the hot dogs at the end? I don't get the hot dogs. <laughs> Try it again. Kind of okay. exhale with it. Or, you know, like the through your nose kind of. As I, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get a hot dog. <laughs> No hot dogs here. Is it the mustard? <laughs> wow. 
No, th so, this is good. No, it is, but it's, it's <laughs> hard to like pinpoint. Because there's so much there going is. on. Like, in I here. do taste a little bit of sourness like you would in a sour beer, but it's mm. not like fully sour like a sour beer. I do taste the hint of raspberry in it. Yeah. For sure. And I do taste the like hef. Maybe that's why it tastes a little sour. Because it's not really a wheat berry, it's a it's a hefeweizen. Hef. Yeah. And so, so it's got a citrus. It's got a little bit more of that sourness to it, I think. It doesn't taste like a Bahama Mama. No, it does not <laughs> taste like a Bahama Mama. It's good though. Like I mm -hmm. there's it is good, people. We're just trying to figure it out because there is some all I'm sorts of stuff. Like put some fresh fruit in it to accent it. Like you would with a Hefeweizen. Maybe you need to put a frozen or a hot dog. In it. I don't know. <laughs> hot dog. Oh yeah. You no, core Dad. out the middle of a hot dog and turn it into a straw. No. <laughs> but I do have some frozen raspberries. I have that berry blend from. Ah oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Like I know I'm not. It's good. Yeah. Like, I'll no, drink it. Yeah, I definitely absolutely. will continue to drink it. I have more cans of it. I will drink it. I just don't know where I stand as far as a wheat berry type thing. But it is a hef and not like a, um, it's good. I just, it, there's a lot going on. Mm. No hot dog, huh? No, I don't get a hot dog. No, you know what I think you're getting from it while you're thinking a hot dog? I think it's the sour part of it that's like the sauerkraut. Maybe. And so you're thinking, like you're having kind of that, and then that translates to a brat or a, a hot dog. Because I can taste that with the sourness of it. The, Not like true sourness. Like the kraut. But like, oh. try it again and then tell me what you think. Okay, um, let me. Think of it that way. Don't think hot dog. Think, ooh, I splashed. Think kraut. <clears throat> kraut. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> hot dog. I don't taste the hot dog. We need to uh, make a shirt now that has a hot dog on it with a glass of beer and says, tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. <laughs> oh, goodness. Are you finished again? <laughs> Maybe I'm just an alcoholic. Wow. That's the most beers we've done in one show. I do, yeah, I, uh, we did, so to be fair, we shared. So we really had three full beers during this time. Yeah, which isn't. It's not too bad. But if we had a, a Sharknado board. We could just keep going. We, we, we could probably do more. But on empty stomach, yeah, full bladder. <laughs> on an empty stomach and a full bladder. That was fun. Wow. I hope you got something out of this episode of Stranger Brews. Maybe you learned a little bit more about an IPA versus a pale ale. I that did. Was our, that was our get, our Google fact this time. I hope you uh, enjoyed our Nebraska beers, our, our Nebraska episode. Hopefully we will have more state episodes. Yeah, that's, that should be a theme. And it's time to wrap this really quick because I gotta go pee. Until next time. To the empty glass. Cheers. Till next time. <laughs> okay.